right? My fig cookie is currently at level 31. And yes, we're doing it. We are doing it. Boom. guys we are going to be doing the review for fig cookie all right i know a lot of people were uh thinking that i'm joking but i am not joking all right so if you guys look at the october 28th update notice all right there has been uh some changes here so if you guys see fig cookies hp has been increased by 18.4 percent as well as the attack reduction effect for fig cookies jelly horn has been increased from 20 percent to 25 percent and also Okay, this actually caught me by surprise, all right? This caught me by surprise. If you guys look at my defense right here, do you see this? I've lost, okay? This person is a master one. I lost to a fig cookie, all right? I don't know how much fig cookie, like how much effect fig cookie had on this, but if you see right here, it's a hollerberry, strawberry crepe, sea fairy, fig cookie, and then a pure vanilla. I lost to a fig cookie. Right, and this was the defense team. All right, I don't know what the uh, what the whole build was. Okay, but we're gonna be trying this out here. And right here, there you go. All right, my fig cookie is currently at level thirty-one. And yes, we're doing it. We are doing it. Boom. You're gonna like my next story. Boom. And there we go. A maxed out fig kagi. Alright. So if you guys look right here, the HP. <laughs> the HP of fig kagi at level 65 stars is going to be at 112,948. The attack is going to be at 18,433. Defense is going to be at 22,280. And crit percent is, of course, going to be at that 13%, making Fig Cookie's total overall power at 71,292. All right, so if you guys look right here, the Jelly Horn is a 15 second cooldown skill, all right, and it's going to be doing a single hit damage of 368%, as well as doing a 25% attack debuff to all of the cookies hit for seven seconds, all right? So. We're gonna try and test Fig Cookie out here, guys, all right? Okay, so we're gonna test uh, Fig Cookie out, of course, going to be at the library, all right? And where is my fig? And I'm actually going to be equipping Fig Cookie with some toppings here, and I am actually going to be equipping Fig with Solid Almond. And the reason why I'm gonna be putting Solid Almond is because of the fact that I want Fig Cookie to survive, okay? I want Fig Cookie to survive when Fig is being used in the arena, okay, and have uh, some at least uh, effect on the enemies when you're actually uh, versing them. So that's why I'm going to be putting uh, Solid Almond on Fig Cookie here, guys. So, all right, there we go, guys. This is going to be the build that I'm going to go with Fig Cookie at uh, with five Solid Almond. Uh, damage resistance is very, very low, and, and you guys can't really see it right now, but it's going to be 27.1%, and it's going to be actually at 32.1% with the set bonus, and cooldown is going to be at 36 all right, and that's what we're going to try, but here we go, guys. Let's try this out. We'll see how Fig Cookie works uh, in against the uh, Librarian, but here we go. I'm going to put it at 1.5%. Not even able to kill off uh, this little thing, all right? 17,000. 18,000. Let's use the uh, effect or the skill. All right. We're okay. We're okay. And yeah, I mean, is the damage good? It's not that bad. It's okay. All right, here we go. We're gonna be using the lollipop now, and then the skill. Okay, one hundred and eighteen thousand right there. Okay, one hundred and eighteen thousand. Okay, so she's throwing fig birds at uh, at the enemies. All right, so there we go. I mean, at this point, I feel like almost every single one of them should be able to uh, kill the, you know, kill the enemy. Uh, we are going to be trying it out against the um, 
witch here. Okay. Dark Enchantress and see if we could actually do this. I have a feeling this actually might be one of the cookies that I actually cannot defeat Dark Enchantress. Not gonna lie. And against the Dark Enchantress here now. Gonna see if we can uh, do something here. Okay. Actually, we might be able to. We might be able to uh, beat this one. Not gonna lie. I think it's possible. That the damage is there. Is it is it strong and fast like the other cookies? No, but I mean it's there. The same kind of like similar to how uh, Werewolf has worked in the past. So. The HP, yes. okay. And then because the skill is a AOE skill, we're able to clear out uh, the enemies, right? The little little minions right there. Just gonna use this thing, and then we should be able to kill it right over here. There you go. Okay. Time, I think, two minutes. So we had about, I believe, like a minute left. Or no, 50 seconds left or something like that. Okay, she did beat. All right. The Kate Witch. Or Dark Enchantress right there. So Fig right there was able to do it. But right now, let's go and um, try it out in the against the friends. Okay, okay. So here we go. We're going to be reversing this team. There we go. All right, this is going to be the uh, team that was uh, that beat me. All right, but we're gonna see how it goes. All right, let's just see how much what, how much effect this fake cookie really has on uh, on this. Okay, so seven seconds. All right, seven seconds of damage reduction by twenty five percent. Okay. Ooh. Is there damage? Do I see damage coming out? Not really. Oh, I lost. Yikes. Okay. Okay, we lost, we lost. Okay, so... You can see though that the damage is a lot lower, okay, from the other sea fairy because of the fact that we did have the damage reduction. But the thing is, right? I don't have the right topping uh, for fake cookie right now. Instead of using strawberry crepe, I'm actually going to be using. Uh, let's see. Let's see if we can do this here. Pumpkin pie cookie instead. Right. Right, we're gonna try using pumpkin pie instead. Actually, no, 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 not pumpkin pie. Let's use sorbet. Where's my sorbet? Uh, okay. Yeah, let's use sorbet here, and see what happens when we do this. Yeah. Careful! Don't get out. Alright, will it make a difference? I, I mean, having having Sorbet is gonna make a difference, definitely, uh, because the tanks are going to take a lot more damage. Right? But I mean, Fig is doing zero damage, absolute no damage. There we go. That seems a little bit better. Better here. Uh, having Sorbet against that team is definitely a lot better. See. See how much less damage Sorbet does against uh, just the Hollow Berry, right? And then my damage output from Sorbet as well as Sea Fairy is a lot, lot higher, okay? So, I mean, the thing is, right, um, I feel like Fig Cookie, if you really want to get it, like, to work for you, you're going to have to put a lot of effort in there. A lot of effort, right? Are you prepared? You're going to have to um, kind of, you know, Make the whole uh, topping set work towards the uh, setting of Fig Cookie. So, there you go, guys. And you can see that you do see the uh, red damage down uh, icon on top of their heads. So, uh, Sea Fairy is gonna do less damage here. 
Witness the might of the seas! Witness the might of the seas! There you go. Okay, so as you can see right here, the sea fairy on the other team is also five stars. All right, and the topping setting is pretty much the same. I'm sure uh, at 11.8 percent cooldown, but you can see that um, the damage output is a lot lower. Okay, and and you gotta realize, I don't have damage resist, uh, two of the damage resist cookies or tank cookies. So that means the damage output from Sea Fairy was supposed to be a lot higher than my Sea Fairy. But because of the seven uh, second debuff timing, all right, from Fig Cookie, the 25%, okay, you can, uh, you can pretty much see that it actually works. Now, I'll probably hate myself for doing this. Well, let's try it out in arena. Witness the oh of the God, seas. I don't. Ah. Oh. Witness the might of the sea. I will not I mean, like, the damage is like ten thousand. I will not falter. Literally ten thousand. <laughs> I will not falter! Witness the might of the sea! I will not falter! Witness the might of the sea! I mean I can see that the damage output is a lot lower Witness than the, the beginning. The okay, because of the 25%. Okay. But <sighs> I mean the thing is, right, I am versing a lot lower rank. Victory okay. is ours. So it does make sense, okay, that I'm gonna win even with a fig cookie like this. But um, if fig, if fig was really bad, then I would have lost that. I would have definitely lost that. Let's try a little Any bit more against. Uh, through okay. Let's try a little bit more against these. All right, so now this one's a pumpkin pie cookie. All right, so you can see that the damage output from the first hit from Sea Fairy brought my Sea Fairy down almost up to a half, right? Right here, this one, you can see that the second hit from Sea Fairy was a lot lower, okay, because of the 25%. Look, even at that one, one minute, all right, increasing that 100%, it didn't kill my Sea Fairy, okay? So, I mean, do I see a difference? Yes, I do see a difference. Is it a big difference? No, it's not a huge difference. But is it? Can it make a like a game changing? Uh, you know, like the tiny difference. Can it make a game changing difference? Yeah, it can. I mean, I did more damage with Fig Cookie than uh, Pumpkin Pie here. <laughs> I mean, uh. All right, this one's Master Two, so let's let's see if we can do uh, how well we're gonna do against the Master Two here. Oh, this one's a crit build here, so so it's gonna make a lot more difference against this, right? A team like this because it is an AOE team, right? So having that that twenty five percent is gonna make a lot more difference uh, in this kind of scenario. But am I gonna win? I don't know. Oh god, here we go. I lost. Yeah. everyone in one piece? Let's do a little bit more. All right, this is the last one. Recognize this shield. <laughs> this is my last last try against uh, with Vic Cookie, guys. Witness the might of the seas. Out of my way. I will not falter. Witness the might of the seas. Witness the might of the seas. I will not falter. I will not falter. 
Oh, I'm still lose. Ah, uh, get fig out of here. You. All right, get this out. My tribe has even bested dragons. Absolute doo doo. <gasps> I went down from 80 to 97 doing that. Why did I think it was a good idea doing this? <laughs> it's okay, I'm just gonna climb back up. But oh yeah. I will not falter. Oh, I, the team that I'm gonna go up against. Uh, if I do attack the team again, it's not Fig. Yeah, it's not Fig. I tried, I was going to attack it, but I saw that it was not Fig. It's not the same team. Will I tell you guys to... Um, build Fig? Absolutely not. <laughs> Absolutely not. Even with the buff that we received from Dev Sisters for Fig Cookie, absolutely useless. Okay. Yes, there are builds out there that I'm sure you can utilize in order to use Fig Cookie into a team that counters certain teams. But is it going to be worth your EXP Star Jellies as well as your gold or coins and your skill powders? No, it is not going to be. And I. I highly recommend that even though you do like fig cookie as a cookie right in the game as a character in the game is it worth building fig no it's not all right don't do it i that's the reason why i did it for you guys here to demonstrate right that fig cookie is not good right and i did highly suggest in that uh video regarding the cookies that you should not be investing in fig cookie is one of them all right so just keep that in mind i would i did put my arena ranking on the line to test this out all right obviously like i said my topping is not the best but is it going to be worth using fig no it's not guys that's the final conclusion and i hope you guys learn from this video that fig cookie is no good even with the buff that fit cookie received all right so there you go guys hope you guys found it helpful and if you guys did find it helpful and you guys uh feel my pain and suffering then don't forget to hit that like button as well as the subscribe button okay guys well there you go uh that is going to end the fig cookie review for this video